Hello Taurus, how are you? This is going to be your third party reading. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your energy for the rest of February going into March. All right, whatever comes through, we will talk about. Of course, Taurus, thank you guys so much for all the love that you have shown me on your videos. The likes, comments, subscribes, they do not go unnoticed. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I do third party readings every month. So if this is something that you find yourself dealing with, you may get some uh, clarity from this. And I also do soulmate readings and other readings, okay? Anything that you would need is in the description box. There will be an extended version of this reading where we go over the outcome between you and your person, Taurus and them in the other party um we get lots of information the extended i feel like they're worth it but you know i of course i'm a little biased it's my work so i would say that but it's up to you um if anything just make sure you leave a comment and a like i would really appreciate that it helps support the channel okay if you need it to uh donate or gift me a deck or anything like that all that will be in the description box okay so let's go ahead and get into it, Taurus. We're going to pull, um, I'm going to shuffle all the decks really quick because I want to get the energy flowing. Uh, we're going to pull between you and your person, of course, right? And I want to say thank you to Megan. I know she doesn't really watch Taurus readings, but she gave me these nice holographic cards. Show me going between Taurus and their person and the other party you can also subscribe to my beauty channel if you're interested in that i am going to start posting on there more i'm just trying to build that channel up if you're interested in my beauty channel that is also in the description box all right so we have the six of swords for your person's thoughts about you towards we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So some of you, we know that the Wheel of Fortune and Six of Swords, some of you could be done with Sagittarians, right? Your person's energy is the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be done with a Capricorn, Virgo, or another Taurus like yourself. Um, you are dealing with someone who seems to be really focused on their coin right now. They seem to be looking directly at that. And I was really noticing that in that card. So someone's very focused on their stability and finances at this time, okay? So we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Magician. So this is Gemini, Virgo, Aries energy for the other party. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> Taurus, I don't know if I particularly like this energy. As in, if you are still wanting to be with this person who has you in a third party situation, this may not be a good reading for you because it looks like to me that you are either moving on from this person or this person is moving on from you from what I can see here. Okay. Okay um let me get those cards just blew out very quickly so i'm gonna take those all right so uh let's see your card this person's thoughts is faith interesting this is a twin flame card for me um some of you are dealing with divine counterparts but it's interesting because you either moved on from this person already because this person's thinking of you as the six of swords with faith. Okay, so this is someone I feel that you moved on from, Taurus, and this person is probably going to come after you. I, I'm getting that energy. I feel like this is someone that you moved on from. You took, some of you may have been married to this person, what have you. You took whatever you had and you moved on, whether that be children with this person, assets, etc., etc. Let's see what your romance oracle card is. You have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of you may have had children with this person. You may have had your own children. I don't know. You could have lived with this person. But with the Wheel of Fortune here as the feelings, this person feels very fortunate to have you around. So I feel like you're moving on from this person, Taurus. You've moved on. This person feels like you've moved on. But for some reason, it seems like they want to come after you. But with this Queen of Pentacles energy, they may be stuck in a situation in regards to their stability. So let's go ahead and get some clarity before we even get to the other party. So let's clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus, please. The King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, like I said, or some of you were married. Because we have a couple here on the board. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, you were married to this person or this is you taking your Earth sign self and moving up out of the way. You know what I mean? 
So I feel like I'm reading this right. That's just to me, double clarification that for some of you, you were married to this person or in some sort of long-term commitment with this person. You moved on, you took the kids, you left. Um, for some of you, you just left this situation. You don't have any ties to this person. Maybe they have their own children with someone else. Maybe they have children with this third party and, you know, you understand this person's position. Like they, you know, they weren't able to leave at this time. They weren't able to be with you. So you just got, went ahead and went to calmer waters with, for yourself. Um, I don't feel like there's harsh energy with this person. This six of swords to me feels peaceful. So I don't feel like you like, you know, just cuss this person out and block them and move on. I feel like this was something peaceful. Like you were more understanding with the six of swords. Okay. And with this person feeling like you're the wheel of fortune, I think that might be even why they feel so much so strongly about you is because of how gracefully you dealt with this situation. Okay. So the strength card. Yeah. This is a Leo for some of you. Okay. Um, this person with the wheel of fortune and the strength card, this person is holding on to you, even if they're not talking to you even if you guys aren't communicating they still feel like you're there the luck like you are a blessing to them so this is why they are willing to endure this connection and try to see it through to the end even if you've moved on so this is someone who hasn't let you go even though you've let them go that's what i'm getting clarify yeah they, they feel like this is not over with this person clarify the queen of pentacles yeah see this person is in a commitment this person's in something stable with this queen of pentacles and ten of pentacles. This person is the, they are married to the spouse down here. This, this is their spouse. Or again, you walked away from a spouse who would not commit, who would not commit to your marriage the way that they should. People are like, oh, well, they're married. So they're already committed. No, just because you get married does not mean you're committed. Commitment and marriage are not synonymous. I'm sorry. I, and if you don't understand what I'm saying, then I hope you're not married. Okay. Because look, all right. Y'all know what I mean. All right. Um, I, hear, I just heard Andre 3000 or who was that? Lil Wayne. I'm not talking fast. You just listening and slow. Or was that 50? Somebody said that. I don't know. I don't know why I just heard that. But yeah, some of y'all get what I'm saying. Commitment and marriage are not synonymous here. So this could be if you're married to this person, they weren't committed to y'all marriage. So you dipped, but they still hold hope that you will you guys are going to be together again. They are not letting go of this connection. For some of you, this person was married to another person, though. Because they got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So they're very in a very stable, committed situation with children possibly being involved. Clarify this Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign. This person is feeling like this third party either wants a new start with them. Somebody might be having a baby too. Okay. Yeah, death card at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy here. So what I'm getting is the third party wants to work on the marriage or the commitment. So Taurus, if you are the other person, you're the outsider of this long-term commitment or whatever, or even if you are the, married to this person that we're reading for, and this is the third party, the third party wants a reconciliation with your person, Taurus. They want a new start, okay? This person, even if they broke up, like say this third party and your person broke up, they're coming back with this emotional plea for a second chance. This is definitely retrograde. So, of course, people are coming back around. So someone's, I feel like this relationship is on the outs, even though we have this Ace of Wands and Magician, because your person feels that this per third party is the magician. So they could feel that this person is manipulative. They could feel that this third party is manipulative through emotion. Well, let's clarify this magician. Because I got the death at the bottom of the deck. So I was kind of feeling that because to me, this is someone to, that wants to be with you. You know what I mean? So it's like they, I don't feel like they want to be with both of you, but let's see. Clarify the magician, please. Judgment. See, this is someone coming back for a second chance. And the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. So your person, Taurus, was in a relationship with someone that they argued with a lot. You guys know this is my argument card. This is a toxic argument card. Um, and there, your person feels that this third party was toxic to them. There was a mono, emotional manipulation and betrayal. This person feels that if they take the third party back, if they reconcile with the third party or continue to keep trying to work on this relationship with the third party, that they're most likely going to get betrayed again. They know that this is going to probably end in them being betrayed again because they see this person as manipulative. It could be a water sign that they feel manipulative. Isn't it definitely Scorpio? Because I just saw three Scorpio cards. We got Judgment, Death, and the King of Cups. Um, but I also tell people like cups, people can be the in the lower vibrational 
they can be very manipulative. They can um, definitely do lower vibrational things to keep a partner in their lower vibration. Now, if you're a high energy king, king or queen of cups, then you shouldn't be offended. You should understand that there's a shadow side to your sign, okay? Or your uh, decant or whatever they call it, decan. Y'all know what I mean, okay? So, um, yeah, so this person sees things for what it is with this third party. So I wouldn't be very surprised if we don't have some sort of ending or conclusion. I haven't even picked up the romance cards and stuff, so we'll see. So they feel with this person that they know there's a strong connection with this other party. So we're not going to act like they don't know it's a soulmate, okay? So yes, they know that there was some time with this person that they had to spend. They do have love for this person. I, def I feel like they have love for this third party. I'm not going to act like they don't. This person doesn't feel like a narcissist to me. They don't feel like they're without feelings. So they do know that this third party was somebody significant to them. But in this deck for me, for me as a reader, and thank you so much, Emily, if you're watching, because Emily, a Taurus, gave me this deck. Um, I don't, I didn't forget. Um, this is a twin flame card for me because this always represents to me ascended souls and this is the earthly plane. So one of the twin flames is ready for the union. This could be you Taurus who's already connected with an ascendant master already ascended. The other party has not came to the party yet. They have not talked to their ascended master. They are not on the level. And of course, this is the masculine now, but it can be reversed. Um, I usually look at this card as the masculine finally showing up and the feminine's already went and did what she had to do because she already talked to her her spirit guide. She already got her knowledge and she's doing what she needs to do. Now he's showing up, but it could be either way. It could be the masculine's already um, hit because we did get a king of pentacles here. So I'm not gonna be sexist about it. It could go either way. Sexist is the right word. I'm not going to conform to gender norms, okay? We'll just say it that way because, girl, you don't know how sensitive people are. I don't want to say the wrong word. Oh, don't come for me. Teach me. Don't come for me. All right. So that just flipped over. I don't know if y'all see that, but we also have this could be the one. So this person, in a sense, what I'm getting is this person was faithful to this relationship down here. This manipulative person down here. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm getting this Ten of Swords and the Magician Judgment. So, and I'm going with my intuition. What I feel is going on here, this person stayed with this third party because they thought that this was the person that they were meant to be with. Okay? They really felt like this was their soulmate. This felt like this is somebody that they were going to be with long term. Especially if they already have children in a legacy with this person. So, for a lot of you, this was a situation where this person may have you know, rejected you, Taurus, or refused to acknowledge the connection that you and this person had because they felt like this was the person they were supposed to be with. They didn't think that they had to make any changes. So I see why you left, Taurus. Totally see it. Totally see it. Fixed energy vibes all day. Totally see why you left. Okay. Let's see what this person, um, what, what this person has to say for me from their higher self because I'm kind of getting that this person is, um, yeah, the Six of Pentacles. They want to reconcile. This person does want to reach out and reconcile with you. They want to start things over with you. But my thing is this. I don't want you guys reconnecting with this person if they have not learned the lesson that this person down here is not for them. Because I feel like they see the reality of the situation. They know that this person down here is manipulative. But it's like, are you actually going to leave them? That's the question. See the Four of Wands. Mm, I don't know about this Taurus. Yeah, Three of Cups. I'm not liking this. This is someone who knows your value, knows how important you are to them. They want to reconcile. They want reconciliation, but they could want to keep both of you right now, which is what I didn't know, but I'm seeing that now here because this is, to me, is not an ending yet. This is someone who knows that this needs to end, though. They know intuitively that either they've been betraying this person so much that the, the betrayal is just going to continue so it could be your person that's even trying to restart with the third party. Maybe the third party could have tried to leave because they were tired of your person's deception. You know what I mean? And your person's trying to reconnect with this third party again. It could be that. Or like I said, this third party is the one who's manipulative and whatever, causing betrayal. They're both betraying each other, to be honest. Um, so they, I feel like this person sees the reality of the situation. The question is, is what are they going to do about it? You know what I mean? So Taurus, I would keep it moving. I, I really like this energy. Um, do I feel like you and this person are going to reconnect at some point? It's up to you. If you don't want to reconnect with this person, you don't have to. But I definitely see you reconnecting with this person at some point. Okay. I def if, if you leave those lines open. Okay. 
So we're definitely gonna have to get into the extended because I gotta see what's gonna happen. I'm sorry, I'm just so into it. I gotta see what's gonna happen. So if you wanna follow me over there, the link is in the de uh, description box. If not, Taurus, please leave a comment, a like, let me know. Thank you all for so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate that. Bye, Taurus.